Okay, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to use the LC3 convert tool and how to just write your assembly code directly as uh, hex values, which is, it's actually pretty straightforward. So over here, I've got my, uh, the same program that I had. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create another uh, window over here. So this is actually this ex1.asm file. This is the exact same thing, and these are the instructions that it um, they map to. This is just the hex form, and then this is the binary form. I've written it just 01010101 in a .bin file. This one I just wrote in another ASM file, and this is the original one. So suppose I want to compile this one first. Well, this when you're doing ASM files, you always use – let me go ahead and clear that. You always use LC3AS, So and then now I can do EX2. Dot asm so that's going to go ahead and compile that code into the same object so if i look here i see an uh, ex2.obj and if i gvim that ex2.obj there give me one sec dot obj i get almost nothing that's that is unexpected okay so let's take a look at that real fast syntax uh, tools convert so you see the just .org x3000. So what happened? We tried to convert these things into machine code, which doesn't work in this LC3 simulator. You have to, or the LC3 um, uh, assembler. You can't just do this. As nice as it would be, I'm sorry to say, <laughs> it doesn't work. So what do what can we do then? I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, lower that because that's going to be useful later. Well, some of the parts of the class are going to want us to write this machine code directly. And so this is how we do it. Like, all I did is before I showed you guys, you can go to the, um, what is it? Like, I think I have it in downloads now. Um, Pat and Mattel. Just go through this and basically manually do each one of these encodings from our instructions. So I take this instruction, I manually encode it into whatever bit sequence it's supposed to be. Um, so I did that. So let's go ahead and do our LC3 uh, assemble. So let's try running LC3 assemble on our ex2.bin file, which I named this into .bin just to specify the difference, and it fails miserably. So we can't use LC3 AS. We have another feature on here, which is the LC3 convert. And this is this function is utterly useless other than for these files. So all we do is we go and say we have our ex2.bin file, zero errors found, and then now if we come over here to our object code, load file, we see that we actually have our, our values here, and these are the numbers we expect. 3000, 520, 5260, 1021, 1267, and so on, dead. Um, I don't know what this 3F3F is here. Um, that is a scary, scary thing that I don't think should be there. This 3FEF. 3F25. Did I accidentally mess up somewhere and put a 3? I don't think so. 3000, 1021, 14F, 025. Um, maybe I did somewhere, but long story short, that is how you will do these conversions, uh, in this chunk for our LC3 simulator. So let's, let's go ahead and quickly try running our, uh, LC3 simulator from before. And I'm just going to write it LC3 sim dash TK and then our EX2 dot OBJ. Let's see if it does what it's supposed to do over here. Dead. And then if it looks like it actually did write these values correctly. B-E-E-F, B-E-A-F, F-025. So all of these things got written correctly, which is what we expected. Awesome. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you guys have any questions, um, be sure to let me know.